Okay, so now we're just going to talk about the female accessory structures, of which there are just a few. All right, now we're going to go even deeper still and talk about some additional or accessory structures. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is Skene's glands. And they are, as if you follow the line, you can see these little glands here. And they are located, so this is a sagittal or a side view. They are located just anterior or in front of the vagina and behind the urethra, okay? Just below where the skein's glands are, you will find the G-spot right here. And the G-spot is an area of tissue on the anterior or front wall of the vagina it is kind of firmer and more rigid. It also has some ridges in it. So if you happen to own a vagina, you can insert a couple of fingers and press toward the front of your body. And you can feel this kind of firmer area that is very noticeably ridged. Some people like stimulation of that area. They find it pleasurable. Some people don't. Now, Skeen's glands and the G-spot are homologous to the prostate in male-bodied people, right? So when we talk about homology, right, this can be uh, just like this is evolves from the same structure that formed the prostate in men. Another thing we're going to talk about are Bartholin's glands, and they're located kind of to the side and behind the vaginal opening. And we've got a few more slides to see. Okay. Oh, look, and it's magnified. All right, good. So here's our Skeen's glands and our G-spot on that front side of the vaginal wall. And if we look at the vulva, the openings or the orifice to Skeen's glands are on either side of the female urethra. So the Skeen's glands, because they are analogous to the prostate, they can secrete fluid with orgasm. Right, And so when people talk about female ejaculation, which is not common, happens in maybe 5 to 20% of female-bodied individuals and not necessarily with every orgasm, um, but what's happening is that those Skeen's glands are secreting fluid. They're acting just like the prostate, secreting fluid at orgasm, and it comes out either side of the urethra. So, so the person in whom this is occurring, it can sometimes feel to them like they're peeing right, because there's some fluid coming out from right next to where the urethra is, so it can feel like peeing, but it's not peeing. It's, it's actually really hard to pee when you're aroused, um, so this is actually female ejaculation. It's secretion from the skin's glands, and then we already talked about the Grafenberg or the G-spot, that ridged tissue on the lower anterior wall of the vagina that some people find stimulation to be pleasurable. Some people don't, and there's nothing magic about it just a place. All right, so Bartholin's glands, if you look at the bottom uh, right picture here, I'm going to circle. So there's one here. They're deep under the skin. Right next to you, this is a vestibular bulb. Okay? So there they are. And they secrete fluid in response to sexual arousal. Now the thing about Bartholin's glands is sometimes they'll secrete this fluid early in arousal, but sometimes not until late and right before orgasm. They seem to be very similar to the bubble urethral glands in men in certain ways. Um, so sometimes they'll secrete sufficient lubrication for intercourse or sexual activity, and sometimes they won't or it won't be until later. Um, but they're located on either side of the vaginal orifice, and they have these little openings right here where they secrete their mucousy fluid right into the opening of the vagina. So those are called Bartholin's glands. They're also called vestibular glands. They have two names, I'm sorry. All right, just a reminder about the anus, right? So the outer part here is that stratified squamous epithelium. The inner part is that simple columnar. So we have that squamocolumnar junction, another place in the body where we are vulnerable to HPV infection. We have the sphincters that give us control over when we evacuate our bowels. 
we have the hemorrhoidal plexus of veins, which can get dilated like varicose veins, and those are called hemorrhoids. And the nerve supply, remember, is from the pudendal nerve. So in summary, we have the skein's glands, which are located right around the urethra, the urine tube. And they're very similar to the prostate gland, both in that way and in the fact that they can sometimes secrete fluid at orgasm in some people some of the time. The G spot or the Grappenberg spot is that kind of rigid part, a little firmer, more rigid part of the front vaginal wall behind which the skein's glands are located. Some people like stimulation of that area and it may be more likely to be associated with fluid secretion from the skein's glands, right? So that female ejaculation. But some people don't like stimulation of that area. Um, there's nothing particularly magic about it. And then there are the vestibular glands. So those are located at the lower part of the vaginal opening and they can secrete lubricating fluid. And then we did a review of the anal anatomy as well. So our final part um, of the female reproductive anatomy, which is coming up next, will be anomalies.